Hey everyone, this is Germ, and uh, today I want to talk to you about me not buying any more games for a while. Now, I would have put for a while in the title, but that was kind of long, and YouTube doesn't show the whole titles, like, on the player, you know, if they're too long, so... Uh, I left the title as is, but yeah, I'm not going to be buying any more games for a while, and the reason I'm not going to be doing that is, like most PC gamers, uh, the Steam summer sales and the Humble Bundles and stuff I think are really awesome, and I get lots of games from them, and that's the problem, is I have so many games. Um, you know, I've got games that I don't even remember that I had until I started looking through my Steam library, and I realized that I've been paying for all these experiences that I haven't yet experienced. I've been paying for these experiences that I haven't had. Um, and you know, you can make the argument, yeah, but I got this game for two or three bucks, so what's the big deal? Well, the big deal to me is that, you know, you get enough of those games. Say I bought them at an average price of like three or four dollars a piece, and I have 50 that I've never played, you know, that's a couple hundred bucks that I could have spent otherwise if I'm never actually going to play these games. So obviously the solution is to play these games. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Uh, I'm not going to buy any more games until I have played everything in my Steam library and my Origin library. Now, played means uh, it doesn't necessarily mean I'll beat every single game because occasionally you get a game that's older and it doesn't really work correctly. Um, or you get a game like the saves corrupt or it could be a terrible game I picked up as part of a bundle that I'm going to play and hate. But I'm at least going to play every game, even if I don't finish every single game. I'm going to give every game um, a pretty good shot. Now, the exceptions to this are Daisy, the Daisy standalone, uh, and any other game that the Casual Shenanigans crew is going to be playing together, like multiplayer. Um, so, you know, I'm excluding those just because that's things we've already planned about and talked about, and. It would, you know, I don't want to do that. That's really what it boils down to is, no, no, I'm excluding those. I don't want to, but uh, the games that I'm playing for me, single player games, I'm not going to buy any more of those until I uh, play everything in my Steam library. So you can expect me to give you updates on what I'm playing and what I think about it. Um, and you can expect to see a lot more varied gameplay going on in my commentaries because I'm going to put in a lot of hours into stuff that's not Battlefield, Daisy, and Arma. I'm still going to play those a ton, don't worry. Um, but I'm also going to be playing a lot of other stuff. So this game right here is Dirt 3. I've started that this week. Dirt 3 is a pretty fun game. The graphics are awesome, as you can see. Um, and it's a racing game. Uh, I've always been pretty good at racing games, especially with a controller. Um, Dirt hasn't been very challenging yet, uh, but I am enjoying it. I actually got this in a bundle with my Radeon 6870 graphics card. So, like, my last graphics card came with this game. It came with a code for it. I've never played it, so... Uh, I am really, really enjoying it. Another game I'm playing this week is Bit Trip Runner. And Bit Trip Runner is really cool. It's this, uh, like, 8-bit musical platformer game. It's hard to describe, but if you, uh, if you hear every time my guy touches something, uh, like, the music is changed a little bit. And as you hit, like, power-ups and stuff, the music starts changing, and you actually, like, build an 8-bit song as you run through the level. So the graphics are really, really simple. I mean, it is 8-bit. Uh, but it's a lot of fun. I'm probably not going to beat this one just because there's, like, a ton of levels because it's a platformer. Um, but I played it for a couple hours, and I really enjoyed it. Like, I feel like I got the Bit Trip Runner experience. Um, you know, they've packaged in a bunch more levels for people who love, love, love the game. Um, but I played quite a few of them. I really enjoyed them. And I think this is a really cool game. I don't know how much I'd pay for it. You know, I think I probably got it with a humble bundle and I think it was probably worth it. Um, but you know, I would definitely pay three or four dollars for this game. This was a lot of fun. So, uh, yeah, check it out and thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more game updates soon and I will talk to you later.